This is science on a grand scale. Hundreds of researchers across the world working towards one goal, cataloguing all the DNA sequences in the human genome to find out how active they really are. What was published today was essentially a first draft of the genome's operating system, the circuitry and switches that control how genes are switched on and off in different cells in the body. But what's been discovered is turning science on its head. Researchers thought most DNA was useless junk. Now it appears it's not. Very little of our genomes are junk. 80% of the genome is engaged in at least one biochemical activity. For a large fraction of the genome, not now 5%, but 80% of the genome, we can say we know that it does something. Researchers discovered DNA is busy running genes, telling millions of them when to switch on and off. We can actually use this information to gain insights into basic biological processes and into the genetic changes that predispose the disease. The Human Genome Project mapped 20,000 genes and was finished nine years ago. This latest research explores what the human genome missed and aims to discover how these genes work. If we could understand that, then we could start to figure out um, who's really likely to come down with type 2 diabetes, who's likely to get lung cancer, uh, uh, who should be making changes in their lifestyles to try to prevent this? Who's going to be most responsive to certain drugs? This research is being called the foundation stone for human biology. The challenge now is to build on it and make medical discoveries which can treat disease. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera.